Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about US Mobile's multi-network connection. Uh, it's a little bit weird, but I did get it set up. Um, so yeah, before we get started into that, if you guys want to do me a solid, smash the like button. That really helps out. As well as turn on bell notifications so you guys don't miss a video upload. So let's get into it. Um, so I recently signed up with US Mobile on the Dark Star Connection, and that is um, like the first line that I created on um, US Mobile. Now, I did get an email from US Mobile that was literally talking about that if I wanted to try out the multi-connect um, service, I can, you know, get my first month free for it and, uh, you know, set it up right now. So I went ahead and did that, but I, I got a little nervous uh, when I was going through the activation because then it was wanting me to uh, choose, you know, um, warp or light speed. And I wasn't sure if I was changing and automatically, you know, like in like technically switching permanently. Um, so I kind of held back till I did a little bit of research and found out how all this works. So I'm, I'm going to explain it in this video for everyone to understand. So after doing some research, I, uh, found out basically what it's doing is, is it's setting up a second SIM for your device. So you know, I put uh, my US mobile back into my Pixel 8a in order to do this um, and went through the setup process. Now, where you would find how you would activate this, you would have to do it from PC because I do not see it at all in the mobile app. Um, maybe I'm just blinded and didn't really notice it. But what you would do is you would log into your US mobile account on your um, on your PC. And you would go to my lines and up here, it will show you your phone lines that you have on your account. Choose your phone line um, and it will open up where it will have uh, just underneath your information. Like it shows your phone number and your avatar and, you know, your that that phone lines uh, nickname. Uh, underneath it, it'll say add on. And when you click on that, it'll have the multi-line connection. Just, you know, accept it to go through the process and then click activate. When you click activate, what it's going to do is it's going to show up two things, which, you know, scared me. And um, you can either choose warp or light speed. Now, if you're choosing warp, that's the Verizon network. If you choose light speed, that's the T-Mobile network. Um, I chose warp because I already have a Metro by T-Mobile phone line on, um, you know, my nothing phone one. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just have uh, Verizon as a backup connection. So I chose warp. And then what it did was... Um, it wanted me to install an eSIM. And that's why you have this QR code right here to install the eSIM and everything like that. So um, pretty much at this point right now, it's uh, running basically DSDS. Um, if that makes any sense for you guys. I don't know why you guys can see that. but And, and I'll run a speed test real quick for you guys. So the first speed test is obviously going to be on the Verizon network, uh, because I do have Verizon on. Now, if you want to know, can you manually force one or the other? Yes, you can. Um, at least I was able to with um, my Pixel 8a. So here's the first speed test on uh, US mobile with the warp connection. And yeah, we're like pulling 600s. Now, in uh, your SIM setup, it's going to show automatically switch, and that allows you to automatically switch between whichever network is, you know, has a better coverage. Um, you can have that turned on, or you can just manually switch it over if, you know, your network settings on your smartphone allows you to. So we got uh, 722 down, 19.4 up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into settings, and I am going to uh, manually switch it. Um, so I'll go into my network and internet, and this is on a Pixel, so it may be different for like your device if you have like a Samsung, excuse me, or um, no Motorola or something. But like, so I'll choose the Sims. It'll show me my Sims, so I have my Sims right there. And what I'll do is I'll scroll to the bottom where it says your primary Sims, and it says for calls, Dark Stars primary for texting, Dark Stars primary, mobile data. I have it set to warp, so I'll tap on that, and then I'll switch it to dark. And so it's going to do the switch real quick. And um, all right. So now that we are on Darkstar, I'll run another speed test. And um, 
Now, when you look at it, it says AT&T. And I'll run that speed test. And uh, here's what we're pulling on Darkstar in my, my home. You know, so it's pretty reliable here. And yeah, I could manually choose Verizon or AT&T, or I could turn on automatic switch, which I will do here, but we got uh, 693 by 18.8. So one of the things that I will choose, um, and that's that right there, automatic data switching. And so that's how you basically set up the uh, multi-connection or multi-line connection, multi-data connection, whatever they want to call it, smart switch, if you want to call it that. That's how it's set up with US Mobile. That's how it, that's how it functions and works. Anyways, like I said, just a quick video for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, y'all know what to do. Smash the like button. Uh, leave a comment, your thoughts, comments, concerns, emotional outbursts in the comment section of the video. Uh, truly appreciate you guys for stopping by. And yeah, basically, be safe out there. I'm just waiting for Elimination Chamber to happen. I'm ready to watch the PLE, and it's going to be cool. But until next time, aloha.